Today we shall be talking about dematerialization of shells. This consists of two words. The first is D. D means to cancel and material here means paper. So when we cancel out the paper format is called dematerialization. In the olden days, we used to hold our shares and securities in the form of paper. You must have seen the money lenders also. They must be having a big, big bunch of papers and they are going to keep it safe in their safe, right? But here, what we have done is dematerialization means holding securities in the electronic format. We are going to shift from the paper format to the electronic format. This is called dematerialization. When an investor holds the securities in the physical form, this form is now being cancelled. The securities will be held in the computerized form or the digitalized form. This process of conversion of physical shares into the computerized form is called dematerialization. Each investor will be given an electronic entry or an electronic number to hold the securities in a electronic balance in an account and that account is called DMAT account. In the present day scenario, when everything is computerized, you go to a mall, you get a bill in a computerized fashion. Previously, you used to get handwritten bills. Now, everything is digitalized and why not the shares? So, buying and selling of shares, it has gone online and this simple process is called dematerialization. You buy shares by pressing a button key and you sell them again by pressing a button key. Now there are so many advantages of dematerialization. First is that it is very convenient to hold the shares in the DMAT form. It is just identical to your bank account. You have a bank account, you keep your money safe there. Similarly, in your DMAT account, you keep your securities very safe and it is very convenient. If you have to uh, go and attend an annual general meeting of the company to which you hold shares, there is no need to carry the share certificates in your hand. You just have your own DMAT account in your mobile and that's it. See, uh, some years ago, you used to carry your birth certificate, your class 10th certificate, class 12th certificate in physical form in the paper format. Now, what is the recent change? The government has made a digi locker, digital locker in which you can keep your Aadhaar card, PAN card, all your certificates, your birth certificates and you can keep them safe in there. Even your driving license you can keep in the digital locker. So similarly, all your shares will be kept in a DMAT form, very similar to a bank account. Further, there is no risk of any danger of loss, theft or forgery of share certificates. May be possible you keep your share certificates in one Elmira and then you are searching for them in the rest of the house but you forgot that particular Elmira. So there is no such chance of any theft, loss or forgery. Nobody can take away those share certificates from you. They are very very safe in your DMAT account. Then it reduces lot of paperwork. As many papers we cut, it's a threat to the environment. So all your paperwork, you are saved if you have a DMAT account. The DMAT securities, they can be pledged or mortgaged to get loans. If you want to take a loan, you can very well pledge these securities and easily get a loan for that. Then further the securities of different companies that can be comfortably held in one DMAT account. Supposingly, you have the shares of Ambani, you have the shares of Adani and Tata. All these three or even if you cross more than three, all the shares they can be safely kept in one DMAT account. You don't need to get separate DMAT account for separate securities. So it's very convenient. Then there is a duty of the broker. To credit the correct number of securities in the investor's account, the broker will do the, all your formality work and he will put your shares in the account, in your DMAT account and they will be very safe and broker is being kept a watch by SEBI. So, Securities and Exchange Board of India, they have given license to the registered brokers. They will be doing all the work for you. So, there are so many advantages of dematerialization. I would like to mention that if you want to convert your DMAT shares into physical form again, you can do that also. This process is called rematerialization. Okay, in, in case if someone wants to hold the shares in physical form, still you can do that also. 
so here we come to the end of the article i hope i have made the things very clear to you if you have any doubts feel free to ask me in the comment section like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching stay safe stay blessed